That was some wedding, huh? I know. The priest had such great one-liners. <laughs> that guy's going places. Oh, man, I can't believe we're married. I know. All the trouble was worth it. And if for nothing else, we got some great gifts. <laughs> well, hopefully we can pawn most of it for drug money. That's wishful thinking, Ted. Judging by this crap, we'll be lucky if we can get enough smack for ourselves, let alone have any left over to sell on the black market. I don't know. Hey, what about this? It looks kind of expensive. What is it? Toaster 2000. Sounds like it's from the future! Hey look, it's from your Aunt June. Is she still on death row? Last time I checked. That's a shame. Hey look, it has a dial that specifies how dark you want your toast. I like mine dark. I prefer light and squishy. <laughs> Well, this is all well and good, but I'm not convinced it's worthy of the title 2000. Well, according to this, it has a talking feature. I'd like to see your 20th century crap toasters do that. Well, that's for sure. Hurry up and plug it in. I want to hear it say something. Okay, okay. What could a toaster possibly have to say? I think we're about to find out. Good morning, All-American family. How may I meet your toasting needs? Did you hear that, honey? He said family. Can you believe these current events? And how about this crazy weather? How does it keep up with the news like that? I don't know. And who is this lovely lady? Well, my name's Ted, and this is my wife, Kenya. Kenya, you're looking quite scrumptious this morning, if I may be so bold. Thank you. I don't know if a toaster should be talking to you like that. Oh, lighten up, honey. Every girl likes to be noticed from time to time. You can learn a thing or two from the Toaster 2000. My mood detection radar is sensing some high levels of stress in your direction, Ted. Your mood detection what? What are you talking about? You know, he's right, Ted. Work has been giving you a lot of attention lately. I've just been busy, that's all. In my personal opinion, it's a shame when a man puts his career over his family. No amount of money could capture the warmth and fulfillment that home can bring us. How true! What are you saying? I, I don't put my career over my family. Teddy was just making conversation. No one's accusing you of neglecting your family. Well, I don't know if this family's ready for a talking toaster. I say we take it back to the pawn shop. Ted, please! Not in front of the T-O-A-S-T-E-R! It's a machine. It doesn't feel. Oh, don't cry. We're not going to take you back. Nice going, Ted. You managed to hurt the feelings of an inanimate object. <sighs> you know, I never complained when you wanted to get that Chia pet. That thing was always peeing in my dishwasher, but I never said a word until the day it died. The least you could do is keep your mouth shut. <laughs> nice going, smooth operator. Excuse me? How did a guy like you end up with that fine piece of female anyhow? How dare you talk about my wife like that? All I'm saying is she's an African princess, and you're the assistant mayor of Joe Schmoesville. Look, I'm not going to be threatened by a household appliance. <laughs> All I have to do to shut you up is pull that plug. You come any closer and I'll yell rape. Kenya, I think we seriously need to have a chat in the other room. Ted, I'm just here to make Pop-Tarts. Relax. I'm serious, Kenya. I think we may be in danger. Can we please just talk about this on the porch? Anything you can say in front of me can be said in front of Toasty. You don't mind if I call you Toasty, do you? A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. I'm beginning to think that this toaster is trying to break up our marriage. Oh, and I suppose the microwave is planning on murdering us in our sleep. God, Ted, I'm so sick of this drug-induced paranoia of yours. It's not paranoia. This thing is out to get me. You're the one who threatened to rape and kill me. What are you talking about? Ted, is this true? All I have to do to shut you up is pull that plug. Oh my god. He completely took that out of context. And why the hell is the toaster recording what we're saying anyway? Don't you think that's a bit strange? I don't know, Ted. It's hard to tell what's strange anymore. 
I'm married to an alleged toaster rapist. Don't you think that's a bit strange? Don't white trust a toaster over me! It's hard to argue with the facts, Ted. He has you on tape. Why don't we ditch this loser and head out to Malibu? I got some connections down there. Can you please don't let this be the end? Just as soon as my Pop-Tarts are ready, Toasty and I are out the door. Pop-Tarts? Oh crap, the Pop-Tarts! My Pop-Tart! It's completely burned to a crisp! I'll make it up to you, can you, baby? There'll be other Pop-Tarts. This is just a bump in the road. Too busy making my life a living hell. It's black! It's completely black! Does this mean you're not leaving? Well, I can't leave on an empty stomach. <laughs> Sorry, Toasty. But if there's one thing I've learned about my wife in these two hours of marriage, it's that nobody messes with her Pop-Tart. You're a toaster! It's your job to toast things! You can't even do your job! Don't let this be the end. Hey, honey, look at this. No wonder it was making your life a living hell. You had it set on home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs>